I want to talk to you about accommodations. Oftentimes, our students need special accommodations for accessibility. To find out about accommodations, more than likely, well, you're going to receive an email. So let me just show you that. So you're going to get an email from access at fairmontstate.edu telling you that an accommodation has been created for a particular student in one of your courses. This is a sample here of my a student that needed accommodation for backcountry living skills. So you need to log in to accommodate, click your accessibility letters, da 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 da. So you're going to get an email. So now you have to go into My Fairmont State and in the quick links card, you scroll down. Notice I've scrolled all the way down because it doesn't show up right away. Scroll down and you're going to look for accommodate. Click on accommodate. This is the screen will come up, faculty, and it's going to bring you home, not to that other page. It should, this is what should be opened up. So accommodation letters, uh, you will have, so here I have a history, um, but if you have something that's unsigned, it should show up here. You can click on it. You can read it and respond. You can also look at your courses uh, by and actually look at a list of students. If you click on this, it'll show you students and it'll tell you each student whether they have accommodations or not. So if for some reason you have a moment and you're like, I can't remember who has accommodations, what they need, you can go here and you can look at your courses. You can look at each student and you can click on their accommodation letters. So what's an accommodation letter look like? So this is a accommodation letter. It comes from the Office of Accessibility. And again, this is all digital. Um, it'll have the student's name. You know, this is confidential information, so you don't share it. It tells you, so this was for a student that was in a SOAR first year seminar course that I had. Um, so they wanted to be able to use a computer for note taking. Um, they need to talk about arrival, you know, situations, um, additional time for assignments, uh, any additional help there. I mean, you've got test taking situations, recording options, um, and then, you know, just extended test taking time. Uh, headphones during class was something that this student uh, did. Um, listening to music during exams and quizzes, you know, headphones on. Uh, and then that this one is one that I have a little bit of uh, issue with, with the things that I teach may need to miss class occasionally. Um, so it's only meant to be used when necessary, but it's almost like a get out of jail free card for missing class. So at the end of this, I did make comments. Um, you know, I don't, I didn't want my lecture recorded by the student. Uh, but I record my lectures when I have this. Well, I almost record all of my lectures anyway. So that was something that I put in there. And then I give plenty of time for assignments. They have a full week for submission. So there's really no reason for extended time. Um, there were no tests in this particular class. And then the attendance, I just made note, like it's a major part of the grade in this class. So I didn't think it could be accommodated uh, for the student. We only meet once a week in SOAR 1100. So if they miss classes, they're missing a lot. So you respond. What I'm telling you, you just have to really look at your class and how it's operated and what can you do for the student. And we are required by law to do the best we can to accommodate a student uh, for accessibility reasons. If you ever have any questions, please feel free to reach out.